If you're like me, you're getting a little tired of all the backup storage, cloud storage, and file storage that you have to now pay for and keep an eye on for your photos and video files, especially coming off your iPhone. Today I want to show you a free process so you don't have to pay more for your iCloud, your Google Drive, and your Dropbox backup accounts to store all those big files now coming off your iPhone that are now 4K video and, to be honest, they're getting really large which is awesome for quality, but it's not great for backup storage. So today I'm gonna to show you a process on a Mac computer, and it's a free app that comes with your computer called Image Capture. Hi, I'm Jared from Breakhouse Media, and we create custom media marketing and video productions for a wide variety of global clients. I'm always looking for effective and efficient ways to leverage media and to support my clients. But today I wanna to show you a pro tip and a way to get all those photos and videos off your iPhone specifically and backed up to your computer securely, safely, and you know, and you control the process, what's going on. Now remember, with any new process, there's positives and there's negatives. So let's talk about the positives. This is one of the fastest ways to download all that media, either from a big shoot that you've done or just from your phone that you wanna make sure it's backed up. Now, the other positive is that you control the process. You know exactly which files. They're all sorted by date and order. You can see them, and then you can easily move them into a folder on either your computer or your external hard drive. Now, the negatives of this process is that it is a manual process. It's up to you. You're gonna to have to plug in the phone via USB to a computer and back those files up and make sure that you maintain your computers and your external hard drive space to have enough storage. The good thing is storage space on external hard drives has gotten extremely cheap compared to actually cloud storage, which is actually getting more expensive. So I'm gonna show you on the computer how it works. Let's go dive in. So now we're here at the computer and you're only gonna need two things. One is your power charging cable that's USB and you plug that into your computer, either a desktop or a laptop computer. And obviously you're gonna need your iPhone to plug in and download the storage. So let's plug that in. This is the iPhone 11. And you might see some automated pop-ups from the computer, like the Photos app. Now you don't need to use them at all. You don't need to use iTunes, Photos, or any of the iCloud services now for this process. So you can just close that out. But you are gonna wanna go to your Applications folder and open up Image Capture. Now that's the free software that's included with every Mac computer. It's the unknown secret of Mac. And that you're gonna open up, and what it's gonna do is start reading all the files on your iPhone. Now if you're like me, you have thousands of photos and videos on your iPhone, so it's gonna take some time for the computer to read through all those files. So give it a minute, and if it asks you to trust the computer, because it's the first time you've ever plugged it in, you're gonna hit trust, and then you're gonna put in your passcode so that it allows you to open up the camera. Now you can do this for other people's phones, but you will need their passcode to open up their phone and download this process. When you first plug in image capture to your phone, you may be asked on your phone to trust the computer that you're plugged into. Simply click trust and then type in your password. Once you're opened your phone, you will then see image capture here, and you can choose a subset of photos within the group that you see loaded. Now, if you have a lot of photos and videos like me, it's gonna take a little while to load. You can also do Command A on a Mac and that will select all. If you do so that, I would recommend using the bottom here and then choosing a folder to import it into. You simply click below, choose a folder, you can click other and then choose a folder that you'd like to actually download into. This is my iPhone backup folder that I use. And as you can see, there are a lot of files in here that I back up my phone to from now 2022 all the way back for two years. And I've dated that here. Now, if you just want to do a small subset, don't use the command A feature, just choose a subset and you can use the shift feature to select different images. So let's say I just want to just like these, this group from a recent shoot, and I just want to choose just these photos. I can just literally drag these into a window on my computer, and then they will save and you'll see it start to import. And you'll get a progress bar on image capture. So again, there's two ways. You can select a folder to import to. You can also do an import all button in the lower right here or you can just select a group of photos and drag them directly into a folder on a Mac Finder window. Now when you're done, it shows out done. I can see all my files here in the folder. 
can see them here. Here's my subset of files, nine. And then if I'm completed, so I can do this multiple times for different folders, or I can just select all or a group based on the date. And you can also just choose to view it by thumbnails. But again, I prefer to choose the data because it shows me the date and the file size and I feel a little bit more comfortable about downloading that. Now when you're done with the transfer, you're basically gonna close image capture and you're gonna unplug your iPhone when it's done. And that's it. Now you can look on your photos folder and see that you've actually downloaded all your photos, all your files that are in your image capture role on your iPhone and know that it's backed up to a computer and or an external hard drive. I hope you found that simple and easy to implement and I want to see if you can try it today. So let us know in the comments below or reach out to us through a DM and see how it worked for you personally. We're always trying to help businesses and entrepreneurs and thought leaders leverage more media in an efficient, effective way to grow their business, but also impact real people that are involved with your businesses and your brands. So let us know how we can help you do that. We're always here on social at BH Media Co. And I hope you have a great day. Take care.